Hi friends! Welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. Today is the first day of my December book haul. This is vlog styles. You'll be getting clips throughout the month. December is always a fun month for books. I've got a couple packages that arrived, a pre-order, and something from a publisher. I'm not sure what it is, so let's find out. Pre-order first. It's a very satisfying one. Ah uh, yes. Okay, this is my pre-order of Counterfeit Courtship by Sanithia Williams. I really love her romances. I have read this, however, I will not be reviewing it until the end of the HarperCollins Union strike, which is ongoing as of the filming of this clip. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, I will have been able to post a video I'm working on where I do reviews of all of the HarperCollins titles that I have read during the strike. Um, but for the time being, I'm not reviewing this. It is the third book in a trilogy of books coming out through Harlequin, and I do really love this author. Then I've got a package from Amara. They always send me surprise goodies with interesting packages, so let's see what we have today. All right, got the tape off. Ooh. Oh, yay! Okay, this has a book that I had pre-ordered. That's kind of cool. Um, very excited. Read it, love it, share it. Welcome to Amara. Discover Entangled Publishing's hottest, most popular romantic fiction. Oh, this is great. So it looks like this is going to come with three titles and maybe some goodies. Oh, cute. Okay, it looks like we are getting a mug. Let's open this up says books and coffee. I mean, really, what more do you need? This is very cute. I always love a good mug. And then we have our three romance titles with bookmarks. First, I'll show you the one I'm currently reading as an e-arc from NetGalley that I have pre-ordered. And now I have another copy. This is Never Cross a Highlander by Lisa Rain. It is a historical romance with a black Highlander. It's really interesting because I, I thought it sounded like it would be fun. And I mean, I love the cover, but it's actually a little more serious so far than what I think I was anticipating. And it's talking a lot about the history of black people in Scotland during this time period, which I appreciate. So I love that we're getting a little more diversity in our historical romance. Next up, we have Cinderella and the Duke by Lydia Drake. Must be a Cinderella retelling, which is fun. Miss Julia Beaumont has exactly one night to find herself a husband. The Weatherford Ball is the last chance Julia Beaumont has to escape the clutches of her horrid stepmother. Any potential husband will do, rich, poor, even a reasonably well-groomed walrus. But all of Julia's matrimonial chances are completely obliterated thanks to the actions of an infuriating and utterly rakish duke. <laughs> and then she proposes to him. I, I mean, honestly, that sounds delightful. Definitely something I would read. And then lastly, we have Mail Order Cowboy by Victoria James. Okay, I feel like are we just getting all winners in this box? This is exciting. Let's see, this is where a single mom discovers that some cowboys are too good to return. Interesting. Hope Roberts has a strict no cowboys allowed policy between raising her daughter, running her business, and trying to settle into her new ranch. She has no room for romance, especially when it comes to cowboys. What she needs is someone to help her fix it. But the only person to respond to her ad is the one man Hope still blames for her husband's death. Oof. Oof. Okay, that sounds great. Um, yeah, these all sound amazing. Thank you so much to Entangled Publishing for sending them along. Hey, I'm back. It is later the same evening. I finished filming a bunch of stuff and then the mail came and I have three packages to open. I have a package from Book Depository. I'm pretty sure I know what this one is. Yay! Okay, so this is one of the new small versions of Penguin Clothbound Classics, and it is The Lottery by Shirley Jackson, which I am planning to put on my Classics TBR for 2023. I'm excited. This is so pretty. I know it's not a very long story, but people talk about it a lot, and I enjoy what I've read of Shirley Jackson, so... 2023. Both of these are from Tachyon Publications. They're an indie press that sends me stuff. I think they might have just randomly sent me things, so I'm not sure what they are. Let's find out. 
There's the smaller one. This does not want to open. Okay, here we go. They do some really good sci-fi fantasy stuff. What is this? Oh, okay. Flight and Anchor, a firebreak story by Nicole Corner Stace. Interesting. So this is coming out in June of 2023. From the world of the breakout novel Firebreak, an exciting new adventure of corporate corruption, dangerous flight, and uncertain loyalty. After a daring escape from a prison lab, two young modified soldiers arrive in a freezing cold city where they have no resources. With time running out, a sinister handler pitting the operatives against each other will be the biggest threat to their mutual survival. Okay, interesting. This is not the kind of sci-fi I usually pick up. But I might give it a try. Super sold. Okay, so super soldiers. If you're looking for some of that, flight and anchor. And then we have the big package, which has my address on the top. So I'm going to open it and we'll see what it is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, I got the layer of tape with my address off. <laughs> like very taped very very well taped oh my god come on <laughs> I really tore the box up but we finally got it open <laughs> and there is another package inside the box <laughs> all right very very well wrapped, y'all. Very well wrapped. Okay. Let's see what's in there. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. These are pretty. Um, the Essential Peter S. Beagle, Volumes 1 and 2. Wow. They're very pretty. So I knew, so these are going on sale May 16th, 2023. Peter Beagle wrote The Last Unicorn, which I know is considered a fantasy classic. I have actually never read it. I've never read anything from Peter Beagle, but this might be a good opportunity. It looks like they're short story collections. First volume is collected previously published stories, and volume two is one previously unpublished and four uncollected stories. Cool, those look nice and the covers are really pretty. So thank you so much to Tachyon for those. Hello, I have my book of the month box and uh, my voice is finally mostly back. I had been sick, so we're gonna open this now. I had been putting it off until I could talk again. Larger than usual because I had an add-on plus at the end of the year, they let you pick one of the book of the year finalists. <sighs> I wasn't really interested in reading any of them except for the one that I've already read and already owns. I decided to just get that copy and maybe gift it. I don't know. It, it was free. Okay. And that one is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin. It's got the nice little Book of the Year sticker. Fancy. So I'll probably just maybe replace my other copy since it was free and sell the one I had. I don't know. I... <sighs> I just wasn't interested in any of the other options. So what are you gonna do? Um, I also got as my pick for book of the month, Kiss Her Once For Me by Alison Cochran. It is a sapphic holiday romance that sounded adorable. And so I really wanted it. And then of course I also had to get Blood Marked by Tracy Dion because I have the book of the month edition of the first book in the series which I really enjoyed and I'm excited to get to the sequel. Hi, I have a very exciting package today. I organized a secret Santa gift exchange for some of my patrons. It was optional of course but a bunch of people joined up and there was an odd number of people so I joined and I have my secret Santa package and it is from a fellow booktuber who is wonderful so thank you so much to Brianna from four paws in a book go check her out and I'm so excited to open this and see what's inside there were some requirements you had to include at least one book because of course um but yeah let's see I haven't opened it yet just arrived today okay. All right. okay we have a card 
Happy Holidays. This book will be one of my favorites of the year, so I hope you love it. It was sold to me as a gay fantasy Star Wars, and I was hooked. Okay. Well, that sounds like fun. What we got? Oh, yes! Oh, this is exciting. We've got some Ghirardelli. I actually really, really love these little peppermint bark squares. Thank you. That's amazing. I love it. Oh my gosh. Ooh, okay, this sounds really good. White Christmas tea. White tea with vanilla and almond flavor. That sounds delicious. I have never tried this one before, but I do like other Harney and Sons teas. And this is like a big container of it. Yes, thank you. We have a super cute festive bookmark. That's adorable. It's like a charm bookmark. Ah, I love it. Another Ghirardelli. And the book, Ashes of the Sun by Django Wexler. I actually do really want to read this. I've heard great things about it. It's the first book in a new fantasy trilogy. Not even the ties of blood will keep them from splitting the world in two. Surrounded by the relics of a dead empire, two siblings, one who wields magic for the empire and the other who has vowed to bring it all down will battle for the fate of their world. It sounds great. I've read a novella from Django Wexler and really liked it. And I liked how he did female characters. So yes, thank you so much, Brianna. I love it. This is such a cute, cozy package. I've got book mail. And I think some of this is gifts, which is exciting with the holidays coming up. So this one came in the mail and I saw that there was a gift note in it. So let's see what it is and who it's from. Yay! Okay, this is exciting. Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice. I have never read Anne Rice, but it is on my list of things that I want to try because I feel like this book is so iconic for a lot of people. Oh, yay. And it's from Amanda. Since this one has been my life for almost a year now, I wanted to share it with you too. Merry Christmas. Thanks, Amanda. I appreciate it. Go check out Amanda from Naughty Librarian. I know she's been making a lot of content around the um, Anne Rice interview with a vampire series stuff this year. And this is such a pretty addition too. I really like this. Thank you, Amanda. I love it. It's awesome. Then this box arrived. I opened it enough to see that there was a gift receipt in, but I don't know who it's from or what it is. So let's see. Oh, okay. There's like a few gift receipts. Oh, Kara. Oh my gosh. That's so nice. I love this. So I don't know. I'll have to see like which book the note goes to. Um, but thank you so much. These are from Kara at Wild Book Garden. She said, one of my favorite books of last year. So when I saw it on your wish list, I had to lol prickly female lead, a plus romance subplot, great world building and tender handling of trauma and healing love that. And then the other one says, I love the series and feel like you could too. Great balance of humor, romance, fantasy, and social commentary. Okay, what do we got? Oh, yay. Okay, this is exciting. All right, so Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. I don't know if this is the first one, but this actually went on my wish list because of Kara. I know she really loved it. And that was why I put it on there in the first place. So thank you. It's difficult to find a husband in Regency England when you're a young lady with only half a soul. Yes, so I know Kara really loved this and her review of it is what made me interested. Thank you. And then we have Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. Rachel from Reads with Rachel will be so excited. This was on my wish list because of her because this is one of her favorite books that she raves about. Um, it's like a YA fantasy book. Once upon a time, there was a horrible girl. I mean, that is a great way to start this. I'm very excited about this. Thank you so much, Kara. I really appreciate them. Oh, so nice. Lastly, I've got a package from Penguin Random House, and I am pretty sure this is one of a couple of arcs that Penguin Teen is supposed to be sending me. So let's see if I'm right. Yes. Okay. I am excited about this. This is Star Splitter by Matthew J. Kirby. It is why sci-fi coming out in April of 2023. And I'm always really excited when I see intriguing why sci-fi come out because we don't get enough of it. And I actually think this cover is pretty good. They often have terrible covers for sci-fi books and don't really know how to market them. So this is a step up. I don't care how many prep classes you take or how many counseling sessions you go through or how many waivers you sign. None of it actually prepares you to be burned apart by a laser atom by atom. 
2199, deep space exploration is a reality and teleportation is routine. But this time, something seems to have gone very, very wrong. 17-year-old Jessica Mathers wakes up in a lander that's crashed onto the surface of Carver 1061 C, a desolate post-extinction planet 14 light years from Earth, the planet she was supposed to be viewing from a ship orbiting far above. The corridors of the empty lander are covered in bloody handprints. The machines are silent and dark, and outside in the alien dirt there are fresh graves carefully marked with names she doesn't recognize. Now, Jessica must unravel the mystery of the destruction all around her and the questionable intentions of a familiar stranger. I mean, that sounds so good. I am very excited to read this. So thank you so much to Penguin Teen. Hello! I have book mail to open. One of these I did peek already and it was a gift, but I am excited about it. I've got some publisher mail and then something else that I am not sure what it is. So let's find out together. Let's begin with this, which is a gift from a fellow booktuber and a good friend of mine. I'm very excited. Mara, my friend from Books Like Whoa, got me The Night Eaters by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. I am really excited about this. This is a new graphic novel series that is horror, fantasy horror, I think, from the team that does Monstrous. I love Monstrous. I love the art. I love the storytelling. And this had been on my wish list because it just really intrigued me. First volume in a new graphic novel horror trilogy following Chinese American twins Millie and Billy who are having a tough time. On top of the multiple failures in their personal and professional lives, they're struggling to keep their restaurant afloat. Luckily, their parents are in town for an annual visit. Having immigrated from Hong Kong, excuse my children in the background, um, but having immigrated from Hong Kong before the twins were born, they supported their children through thick and thin and are ready to lend a hand, but they're starting to wonder, has their support made them incapable of standing on their own? Oh my gosh. So their mom forces them to help her clean up the house next door, a hellish and rundown ruin that was the scene of a grisly murder. And like things get kind of wild. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. Thank you so much, Tamara. I'm excited to pick this one up. Oh, yeah. I have another Amazon box. I'm, I'm, I'm not even sure this is a book. So let's see. If it's not, then it is a book. This is probably a gift. Okay, this is also from Mara. Um, the Turn of the Screw by Henry James. She said, I couldn't resist beefing up your collection. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Mara. Oh, this is so pretty. If you don't know, Mara is the queen of the Penguin Cloth Bound Classics. She has basically all of them and they're beautiful. I have a much smaller collection, but I was interested in this because I've never read The Turn of the Screw and I've wanted to because I've read and watched things based on it that I really liked. So, I like this with the eyes and the blue. This is so cool. Yes. Ooh, the turn of the screw and other ghost stories. Oh, that's cool. So it's a bunch of, th ooh, okay. Am I regretting the fact that I've already made my classics TBR for 2023? Because I might have otherwise put this on it. But you know, there's always 2024. We'll see. And maybe I'll get to it anyway. Thank you so much, Mara. I love it. I'm excited. I have a package from Penguin Teen. I think I know what this is. It's been slightly decimated by my child who was like, what's in the package? Oh, it's a book. Never mind. <laughs> they know. I think this is from Penguin Teen. It says from Penguin and I've got their Penguin Teen is sending me something. Yes! Yay! Okay, this is really exciting. This is Her Good Side by Rebecca Weatherspoon. You might know Rebecca as the author of steamy adult romances. This is her first YA romance. I've heard it's very fluffy. I'm very excited about it. This is coming out when it's, it's coming out in May of 2023. A swoony, heart-melting YA romance about two awkward teens who practice date in order to turn their love lives around. I mean, that sounds adorable. I am... Um, very excited for it. Go check it out and thank you so much to Penguin. Lastly, I've got a white envelope from Macmillan, which means it's probably from Tor. Ooh, it looks like a finished copy of something. What is the? Oh, yay, that's exciting. I didn't know I was getting this. Finished copy of Lost in the Moment and Found by Sean and McGuire. Um, thank you so much. I am really excited about this. I am planning on reading this very, very soon. It's on my TBR for this month. It's coming out in January. It is the, the next novella in the Wayward Children series, which I 
adore. So I am very excited to read this. Thank you so much to Tor. I had a package arrive from Waterstones. One of my patrons, Beth, very kindly gave me a gift card to Waterstones and I bought some things and pre-ordered some things. So thank you so much, Beth. I greatly appreciate it. Like, so nice. So let's see what came. Yes! Okay, so listen, it was a holiday gift. I decided to treat myself. Like, I, did I need another copy of this book? Yes, I did. <laughs> I got the UK hardcover of Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. I loved this book so much and I really like this hardcover. I just think it's so pretty. It's got the original cover artwork from the US edition inside and like it's so pretty yay anyway i'm really happy thank you so much to beth for making this happen for me yeah. i had two more packages from waterstones arrive today so let's open them again huge thanks to beth i wasn't sure what this one was so i did peek but uh yep ah, i'm so excited this is the new hardcover illustrated edition of The Witcher The Last Wish by Anders Edge Sapkowski. I think these look so pretty. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. People like to invent monsters and monstrosities, then they seem less monstrous themselves. This is so pretty. We're doing a read-along for the Chapter 3 podcast, um, and so I was like, I really want some nice editions of this. So I treated myself to a couple. And then I'm not sure what all is in the larger box. So let's find out. Lots of oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Also for a project, this is The Complete Plays of Sophocles, a new translation. I picked this up because I needed a copy of Antigone for a video I'm doing in January. So I thought, why not just go ahead and have all of the Sophocles plays since I don't own them already. You guys, oh my god, uh, like... If you if you don't know, these are like the gift bags from Amazon. I have not opened them yet. I just took them out of their boxes. But like, this is amazing. I came home from a week in Louisiana over the holidays and I came home to a ton of mail. So I have all of these to open and I have all of these to open. Like, wow. That's a lot. So, um, okay, let's get into it. <laughs> this is amazing. Like, I, you know what's funny about this? This is also the first trip in a long time that I didn't buy any books for myself. I did buy a couple for my kids, but <laughs> like this is what I come home to. It's amazing. Let's start with this box. It came partially open and then I opened it a little bit further because I was like, what is this? This is yet more of my Waterstones order. <laughs> that I mentioned earlier in the video. So thank you, Beth. I have the new illustrated edition of The Witcher Sword of Destiny. And oh, these books are so pretty. I am excited. Am I gonna probably buy myself the whole set eventually? Yes. And I'm now prepared for the read along. Uh, I also have a pre-order from Barnes and Noble. Pretty sure I know what this is. And I think it's a book that I already have because the publisher sent it to me. So I might return this copy or I, I might have some other plans for it. Aha, yes, it is Never Cross a Highlander by Lisa Rain, which I have now read actually. And I liked it. It wasn't what I expected. I think when you pick up a Highlander historical romance, you're expecting fluff. And this is not fluff. It's a little heavy in terms of the content it tackles, but it is good. So um, yay for that. I think I might use that for something I'm planning. Then we'll do publisher mail and get into some gifts and surprises. So I have one package from Macmillan. It's probably tour.com. And I think it's a finished copy of a book that I read recently. Let's see if I'm right. Because I was asked if I wanted one and obviously the answer was yes, because it was one I really liked. 
Yes, I am correct. Okay. It is a finished copy of The Keeper's Six by Kate Elliott, which I freaking loved. It's set in the same world as Servant Mage, but different and it's fantastic. So if you haven't already, you'll hear more about this on my channel in my end of month December wrap up. And note that I am having Kate Elliott as a guest on my channel for an interview and I am thrilled. So yay, thank you so much to Tor for this. Most of the rest of this is gifts from people. I don't know what it all is, but I do want to open this first. It is, I believe, from a giveaway I entered. Lakin Kemp is a YA author who I follow on TikTok, and she had been asking people to enter her giveaway she was doing in support of the HarperCollins Union, and so I reshared the video and entered. I didn't expect to actually get something from it. I mostly was kind of trying to support it, but I haven't had the chance to read anything from her, and her books look adorable. So got something in the mail and I don't know what it is. So she's sending a bunch of her different books. So thank you so much if you see this and let's see what's inside. What a way to end the month, my gosh, and the year. Oh my God, this is so cute. It's like pre-wrapped. I love it and it feels like a hardcover. So it must be a finished copy of one of her books. Very nice wrapping a little present. Yes. Okay, cool. So this is one of her books, Somewhere Between Bitter and Sweet by Laken Zia Camp. And let's see, it says, home is not a place, it's a heartbeat. Penelope Prado has always dreamed of opening her own pasteleria next to her father's restaurant, Nachos Tacos. But her mom and dad have different plans, leaving Penn to choose between not disappointing her traditional Mexican-American parents or following her own path. When she confesses a secret she's been keeping, her world is sent into a tailspin. But then she meets a cute new hire at Nachos who sees through her hard exterior and asks the questions she's been too afraid to ask herself. It goes for on from that, but um, yeah, this sounds amazing. Lycan is a Chicanx writer and this looks amazing. Thank you so much to her. I'm excited to add this to my TBR. All right, with that said, it's time for holiday gifts, which is exciting. I actually did get a couple of books from my kids for Christmas, which was nice. They know me, y'all. Like they're young, but their gifts get better every year and they know I love books. They <laughs> And uh, we, we always give them a small budget to spend on gifts for the family to kind of teach giving around Christmas and go to Barnes and Noble and they can kind of pick stuff out, books or toys or whatever. I got two books, one of which I, like my youngest got me that I'm excited about. I've heard good things. They got me Jay's Gay Agenda by Jason June. This is from my six-year-old. It's a YA paperback. It sounds adorable. One, meet another gay kid. Two, fall in love with a boy. Three, lose my virginity. <laughs> So uh, they can't read very well, so I don't know that they know what it was, but just liked the cover and it was within their budget. So thank you so much to Joe. I love this. And again, I've heard people say it's a really good queer YA book. And then my oldest got me another copy of The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, which is really funny because I think the last time we did this, he got me a trade paperback copy and now I have a tall mass market paperback copy. He must really want me to uh, reread this book. So, you know, maybe it will be coming, <laughs> but that was for my kids. Then I got a box in the mail from Liana at Liana's library. I don't know what's inside, so let's see. All right, got the tape off. Oh, oh my gosh. What? Okay. Is this, this looks so cute. La Chocolaterie, the Chocolaterie, it's like French. This is cute. Um, ooh, it's tea. Okay, this sounds really good from T2. You know what, I have never tried them before. Liana's got good taste in tea. So chocolate pear pudding, crazy good cocoa, hot jam brownie and terrific toffee. This sounds awesome. Okay, I'm excited to try these. Oh my goodness. Whoa, 
That is so cool. Thank you so much, Liana. I love this. I'm excited to try these teas. Oh my gosh. These are so cute too. They sound amazing. And what a cute little box. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Liana. That will be amazing. Okay. And with that said, we have all these Amazon bags, which like, wow, I, I really was not expecting this. So I know some of them came together. These two came in the same box. So I think they're from both from the same person. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Sunshine, we love you and wish 2023 be filled with continual cheer. Love, Isel and Diego. Thank you so much. They didn't put usernames, so I'm not sure exactly who it is, but, um, but they sent a couple of things. Let's open. Y'all never have to, like, you guys don't have to send me stuff, but like, wow, I'm, I'm touched. Okay. Oh, that's new. It's now in tissue paper as well. Yes. Oh, yay. Okay. The Raven Stratagem by Yoon Ha Lee. It's the second book in the series. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Uh, I really love Nine Fox Gambit this year, and I do want to continue on with the series. So this is great motivation. I appreciate it. And here's the other one. Okay, I think this one's a hardcover of something. Okay, okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I guess this is my message that I need to actually read this. She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. You know, I added it to my wish list because I was like, maybe I want to read it, but I don't know. But maybe I do, because a lot of, like, like, some people loved it, some people didn't. I think it's like historical fantasy and it's queer and I've had some people tell me they think I would really love it. So now I have it and I need to read it and I think it's gonna be great. Thank you so much for both of those. I really appreciate it and they both look incredible. Then I have three from Stephanie, who is one of my patrons. Wow, thank you, Stephanie. Like, oh my God, that's amazing. What did you get me? Y'all, I swear, I have amazing patrons. They're incredible. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, yes! Oh, thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. This is one of the few things that I was still missing from... <laughs> from my shelf of Sylvia Moreno Garcia things. Um, this is Fungi. It's a short story collection edited by Oren Gray and Sylvia Moreno Garcia. I think she has a story in here, but at the very least she edited it. Does she have a story in here? Let me see. Okay, so it looks like she doesn't have a story in here, but she was one of the editors, which is why it ended up on my list. And it does have some really great authors writing short stories, including some I've been wanting to try more from like Jeff the Endermere, got Paul Tremblay. This is awesome. Thank you so much, Stephanie. It will probably still go on my Sylvia Moreno Garcia shelf. I have like so many books from her. All right. And the other one, you know me so well. This is She Walks in Shadows, also edited by Sylvia Moreno Garcia and Paula R. Stiles. It is a short story collection. And yeah, I don't think I realized that she just edited both of these collections, but it's okay. I am still happy to have it and they look great. This is interesting because it's all women from around the world doing Lovecraftian stories, which I find interesting because he was such a misogynist, but I think has also inspired a lot of things and was important. I'll get to try a bunch of new people too, which is cool. We have last one. Book three in the series, Revenant Gun. Okay, I hear you all. You're telling me I need to read more Yoon Ha Lee. That's, that's awesome. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I really appreciate it. Last thing of the year, we've got another package. And oh my gosh, Christopher, thank you for sending something. Hi, Bethany. I've always enjoyed your videos and I wanted to give you something for the holiday season. This is one of my favorite books of all time and I hope you'll love it as much as I do. 
Christopher, thank you. You were always in my comments section and chatting with me in premieres and it's always awesome. So I, whatever I is, I, oh, cool. Okay. These are so pretty. Thank you. It is this beautiful Penguin Vitae copy of The Color Purple by Alice Walker. You know what? I really appreciate this because I think I tried to read this once when I was much, much younger and, uh, you know, much more conservative and didn't get very far because it had content that I at the time was uncomfortable with. But now I think I would probably love this book, even though I know it is has trauma in it, but I really want to read it. So thank you so, so much for this. I really appreciate it. And oh, it's so pretty. Yay. Y'all, this is amazing. Like what an incredible group of things to come home to. In a lot of ways, this has been a really great year. I know we've had a rough few years with everything with COVID happening and, you know, life has changed in so many ways, but this channel has meant the world to me and the community that we have is incredible. Thank you so much to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful new year and I hope that it is filled with lots of amazing books. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all of you who have watched my content, sent in things for this haul, just like all the things. I I appreciate it. I'm filming this last clip on New Year's Eve, so I'm in my feelings about the end of the year and the upcoming new year, but thank you so much to everybody. If you like this video, as always, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time. Uh, talk to me in the comments down below if you have thoughts on anything that you want to share or things that you got for the holiday season. If there are exciting new books you want to share, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.